Salutations, my name is Dan, welcome to the next Friday vlog. So, this has been a bit of a rough week for me. Um, I've been a little under the weather, so um, I'm just recovering from that now, so I'm trying to catch up on a whole lot of stuff. Um, this is pretty weird, though, because this is the first time I've been sick in, like, years. And, um, Garnett, if you're watching this, it's probably your fault. I don't know how, but it is. If you're not watching this, then Tanner, it's probably your fault instead. Anyways, enough about that. I said I was going to talk about Avengers, and I'm going to talk about Avengers. There's a lot of Avengers things to talk about. So, let's get started. So, details for the new Avengers movies have been kept pretty tightly under wraps. There haven't been a whole lot of leaks about any plot developments or anything like that. Um, all that's really been, been confirmed is that Ultron's going to be the villain, and there have been a couple other small confirmations that I talked about in my previous video where I gave a lot of background information on that stuff. So if you don't know who Ultron is, and if you don't know who Scarlet Witch or Quicksilver is, then I recommend checking out the previous Friday vlog. Um, if you already know who they are, then I mean, don't even worry about that, and then just listen to me rant. But as I was saying, most of the plot details about um, Avengers that we have access to so far are just speculation, which is my favorite. Because speculating, I, I just find it to be fun. And um, there, there's just a lot of stuff to speculate over, and I'm going to list all of those speculations right now. I'm getting paid every time I say speculate, so I'm going to speculate and you speculate say speculate. What I think is really cool about the new Avengers movie is all the new cast members that are being added into the lineup. Uh, for example, um, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are joining the team, as well as um, possibly Falcon and Miss Marvel, and um, maybe even Vision. The um, all five of the or those three names have also been tossed around, um, but only um, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver has have been confirmed. I think that. Miss Marvel or Vision might have been confirmed as well, but I'm not certain about that. I would especially like to emphasize the fact that Scarlet Witch and Miss Marvel have been added to the lineup because um, there have been some theories floating around that now that there are more female Avengers, that there's a certain thing that um, they might be willing to do with Black Widow that has been done comic series before, and that could happen again. Because um, in comics, um, very frequently, Black Widow turns out to be a traitor or a double agent, and sometimes even a triple agent, and she will end up um, betraying S.H.I.E.L.D., end up working for Hydra or something like that, and then usually she'll be, it, I mean, complicated spy stuff. She's, or she's pretending to betray S.H.I.E.L.D. so that she can work for Hydra in order to support S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, point is, um... They may make her a traitor temporarily or long term because now um, they don't really need her in the Avengers now that they have more female representation. Um, also, in the trailer for the new Captain America movie, um, Captain America remarks um, that Nick Fury had told him not to trust anyone, and then the um, trailer pans directly to a shot of Black Widow, uh, which is curious and it's something that's worth thinking about. He told me not to trust anyone. Now, Josh Whedon has also said that he would like to kill off a character in this Avengers movie, um, at, at least one character, if not more. He says he'd like to be a much darker film, and he'd like for it to be a lot more serious. Uh, now, I'm thinking that it's most likely going to be Hawkeye, just because he's the he's the he's not the biggest character at the moment. Uh, he's the least developed. However, um, there's all, it's also been reported that this is supposed to be a bigger movie for Hawkeye, and it's supposed to get more development for him. Um, however, Robert Downey Jr. has said that he's not interested in playing Iron Man much longer, and if they can't keep producing original scripts for Iron Man, that he's not going to play Iron Man anymore. So, um, killing him off in the next Avengers movie would be a good way to let him out of his contract. Um, and his contract expires after Avengers 2, so he doesn't have to do any more Iron Man movies after Avengers 2. However, also keep in mind that there are up to five new character uh, that there are up to five new characters in the new Avengers movie, and any one of these characters could be killed off as well. Um, I mean, they may not be important uh, to the overall blueprint of the um, Avengers movie scheme or anything like that. Um, so, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, um, Falcon, Vision, or Ms. Marvel could die off. Personally, I think it'd be a bad idea to kill them off so early in their first movie. Um, however. There's no denying it could happen. Uh, they haven't been developed and they haven't brought in a lot of money yet, and if, they, um, if the executives don't think they can bring in a lot of money, then they wouldn't care if they died off, and Josh Whedon would have, uh, take advantage of that if they wanted to hold on to their other assets. 
All right, so I'm going to close off with one last fun fact. Um, uh, the Avengers movies um, has started filming already. Um, they filmed one scene in South Africa already. Um, they're, they've used a giant um, puppet thing that is Hulk, Hulkish in appearance. It's big, it's green, its face looks Hulkish, and um, the uh, stunts they were doing involved flipping trucks over, so it looks like there's going to be a rampage scene in the new Avengers movie. Uh, that's the only thing that's been filmed so far that we know of. Um, and that's it. That's all the room. That's everything I have to report on for the new Avengers movie. I hope you all enjoyed hearing me rant about it. And I will see you next Friday.